Hello everyone and welcome back to Ocarina of Time 3D, of course. But we are in the Happy Mask Salesman Shop, whatever it's called. Anyway, the Happy Mask Shop, that's what it's called. So before I head on over to the next dungeon, I want to try to get some side quests done, you know, like always. So yes, I will be buying the Keaton Mask, and I know exactly where this goes. So with the Keaton Mask, we will be taking this over to Kakariko Village and that one soldier who stands at the gate and laughed at us, he's the one who wants this. So that's where I'm gonna take it. Also, I know I said that I wouldn't 100% this game, but now that I'm thinking about it, I might actually do that. Or at least try to. I don't know. After doing all those side quests, I'm, I guess I'm just in the mood to at least try. Wahaha, <laughs> do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh. Is that a key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite, that key something mask, if you don't mind. Would you sell it to me? My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. Wahaha. I guess he's not too bad after all. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay back 10 rupees for the Keaton mask now. So now for the next mask, the Skull mask, we have to give that to the Skull Kid. So let's go do that. You know, I thought we would have gotten the Ocarina of Time by now, but I guess I haven't played this in so long that I forgot. I thought I remembered more about this game than apparently I actually do. Hey, hey, under that mask, aren't you that cockery kid? I mean, Kakiri. Quite an unusual mask you have there. I like it. It may make me look a little bit tougher. Why don't you give it to me? Yowza, I'm gonna wear this all the time. He didn't pay the full price, but I don't mind. He tried his best. Okay, now for the next mask. The spooky mask, a sad wooden mask. For the spooky mask, we're gonna bring this to Kakariko Village. And also, there's another reason I want to be there, because if you remember, there's a certain crave that has an area that you can bomb, and I want to go in there, so I'll get to that after doing the masks. I always wondered, can you go up there? Because there's like a little wooden post or something up there. I don't know, I just feel like you can go up there. Yeah, it's down by the Gravekeeper. Oh, it's just a mask. I get a different kind of fright from that mask than I get from Dompe. Will you give that mask to me? With this mask, I'll be more like... Oh, just like Dompe. Here's my money. And by the way, I also have 22... Golden Skull Tokens. So I'm gonna turn those in right now. Curse has been broken, thank you. Here's a reward for you. The Shard of Agony. I think the Shard of Agony helps you find hidden spots that you can open up. Like right now. 
something around here. Play the sun song. There we go. Oh. Oh, um, I need to get out of here. I'm gonna die. Okay then. And for that I got 200 rupees and I can't even carry it so it all went to waste. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 30 rupees. Okay, so now it's just the bunny hood. Now for the bunny hood, I can't remember if he's... Pretty sure it's for a postman, but I don't know if he's running in the field or if he's sitting down somewhere. I was looking for that postman, but I ended up down here, so whatever. Ages running around Hyrule Field thinking that the postman was going to come by, but apparently he only comes by after you beat the third dungeon. So I have been wasting my time running around looking for him and he's not even there. So that was fun. So I'm just gonna go in the grave right now. And I think it's this grave. 
that we're supposed to pull up. Yep, it's this one. Now that we have bombs, we can actually get inside here. There we go. That's it. I could have sworn that, I don't know, that leads to a piece of heart or something. Well, that wasn't worth it. Well, those side quests were a little bit of a waste of time, so I'm just gonna go to Zoro's domain. Woohoo, looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Potato. Just add lies Zoro's dom domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule, Hyrule's royal family by protecting their water source. This water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. So I'll just place bombs here. And one here, just to make it even. Pretty sure I need the Song of Storms for this. Chomp chomp, how about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. Sure. I'm gonna plant some bugs here too. Not plants, but release some bugs. And the bugs didn't work, so I just wasted those. I'll at least plant a bean instead. Give me more. I'm just gonna buy all of them. Dompe's here. Hey kid, don't mess around with the graves. I'm Dompe the Gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Uh, no. There's a heart piece somewhere around here. I just don't remember where. I'm gonna try to see if something here. Nope. So I just walked an entire circle, opening up all the graves, and so far, I've got nothing. Okay, so now there's only one spot left to check, which is this one right here. 
The last one that I didn't do. He walks really slow. So I dug all the graves and got nothing. So I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a piece of heart, but... I don't know why I didn't get anything. Finally, the piece of heart. I spent ages digging up everything and wasted all of my money just to get this. Okay, so I'm guessing you're supposed to jump across the river. I'm just going to leave that. Ooh, there's a piece of heart up there. Oh my. I don't think I can actually reach it right now though. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that. Oh, there's a frog. Uh oh. Oh. I don't know what to do after this. Maybe if I just play the forest song. Wait, was that the wrong song? Oops. Oh, I think I need to teach them five songs, and I got money, so that's actually very helpful. I'm gonna try another one. Young lad, you play the ocarina well. That melody is so fine, we should all practice it. 50 rupees each time. That's nice. I only got one more song though. That's actually really helpful. Now I can buy more magic beans. 60 rupees. How many more can I buy? 70 rupees. Well, I don't have enough for that. There's a golden sculpture around here. I 
I don't think I can reach it anyway. I don't think I can reach that either. Yay, now we can get into Zora's Zora's domain. Zoras, the proud aquatic people. So you say you have some connection to the royal Hyrule's royal family? Well, what do you want from us? Before I do anything, I'm going to take some fire. There we go. Piece of heart. Honestly, right now I don't mind getting money from chests because I really need it. What do they have in here? So just fish and heart and whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna catch one. Pretty sure we'll need that for later. What's down here? Our diving game is 20 rupees. Sure. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here and you only have a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here and I'll give you something very nice. All of them? Okay, I only need one more, I think. 
Hey, congratulations. I've got something very nice for you. Come and get it. What a graceful dive. Now please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. The silver scale. I think there's an upgrade for this, actually, that you can get by fishing. I don't know. I'll have to check later. Oh, my dear sweet princess Rudo. Where has she gone? I'm so worried. That's it. Maybe I play a song or something. No. King Zora's throne room. To hear the king's royal proclamation, stand on the platform and speak to him. Maybe he'll respond to me if I show him a fish. Nope, that didn't work. I don't remember. So I looked it up because I was confused and apparently there's a letter in Lake Hylia, so I'm gonna go get that. There it is, the bottle with the letter in it. An empty bottle. I like how the Zoras just appear out of nowhere. Seeing as I'm already here, I'm gonna speak to the scarecrows. I am Bonoru, the scarecrow musical genius. I hear a song once and I never forget it. What does the other one say? I am Pierre, the wandering scarecrow. Actually, I wish I could wander to look for soul-moving sounds, but I'm kind of stuck here. Whoa, you have an ocarina? Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it? I'm just gonna choose something basic. Well, not bad. I'll remember it for you anyway. I don't mean I can remember only eight notes, but let's just cut it right there for now. I'm gonna go up to that building. I think it's a research laboratory or something. Lakeside Laboratory. Yep. How far can I dive? Oh, I can't get down there yet. You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. You dove 18 feet just now. You should be able to dive deeper. Is that all? Okay, that's all. I don't think I can come back there until later. There's the owl. What are you doing here? You've come a long way just to get up here. You should look at the map sometimes. Potato, this is a beautiful lake full of pure, clear water. At the lake bottom, there's a water temple used to worship the water spirits. The Zoras are guardians of the temple. The Zoras come from Zora's domain in northeast Hyrule. Yep, I already know all that. No, don't. Stay away from me. No, oh, stay away. Okay, I don't want to go with him. What's down here? I don't need that either. Okay, so that wasn't very helpful. Is there anything I can do with this? 
Nope. When water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light. I don't know what that means, but I see a golden sculptula. Fishing pond. Yeah, I think this is where we get the upgraded Zora scale. Uh, sure. Thank you kindly. Here's your rod and lure. I'm so generous I'll let you fish for as long as you want. However, you can only keep one fish. The biggest fish ever caught here was six pounds. After you cast, you can change your view. Okay. So if I catch fish bigger than six pounds, I think, then, then I'll get something. I want to look for a big fish. Come on. I got it. Two pounds. Uh, sure. I want a bigger fish than that, though. Oh. Finally. Wow, that fish is giant. Ten pounds. Yep, I'm turning that in. That'll definitely get me something. How's this fish looking? What do you want? Weigh my fish. Whoa, this fish is huge. It looks like a new record. It's at least ten pounds. Seriously. Okay, here's your prize. Oh. A heart piece. Never mind, it's just a piece of heart. Hey, hey, you can't take the rod out there. When you quit fishing, return the rod to the counter. I'm serious. Just take it. Come back when you get older. The fish will be bigger too. Well, maybe. Well, I guess now it's time to go back and get back to the main story. Here, take it. Oh, this letter, it's from Princess Rito. Rudo. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never, never eat my dear Princess Rudo. But since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green, green around the gills. The evidence seems clear, of course. You'll go find- oh. The evidence seems clear. Of course you'll go find Rudo. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You can keep the bottle. Please find her immediately. He's really taking his time. Since I have to sit through this, everyone else can sit there too. Because I'm not skipping this. Thank you.
Zora's Fountain. Now this is where we use the fish. I hate this dungeon, it looks so gross. Why are there even switches inside his stomach? I don't know if I can hit those. I think it'll hurt me. You, who are you? I'm Rudo, Princess of the Zoras. What, are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father's worried about me? I don't care. Anyway, I can't go home right now, and you get out of here. Understand? Well, I say that's deserved. Can I leave now? I guess not. Do I have to go after her? Because I really don't want to. But I'm gonna do that. I'm jumping in. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly since I was little. But Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was, but that's none of your business. Anyway, you, go home now, understand? I really regret jumping after her. I can't even use my shield on these. Get down here. I'm guessing this will raise the water up and I really don't want these around when it goes up. Oops. Whatever. I'll just raise it. Thank you. As a fairy.
finally caught one. I honestly have no idea where I'm supposed to go right now. in here. Oh, that startled me. I think I'm back where I was. Okay, so that's where that leads. I'm just gonna continue as if I never jumped down. Cause she wasted my time. This is blue, so I don't think that's going to hold. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't want to risk going over there. That way's blocked off. Oh, yeah. This is yellow, so that should hold. That's blocked. This switch doesn't look like you can press down your, with your weight alone. Really? Well, I guess I need her. So I'm gonna have to jump down, aren't I? Well, that's fun. any of those. Oh, is this an immediate path? Immediate path right back to the top? So I didn't have to go all the way around. Pretty sure the area I want to go to right here is blocked off, so there's nothing I can do about that. And these jellyfish need to stay away from me. I'm going to try one more time to try to convince her to come with me, but after that I'm just leaving. You're that worried about me? Then I'll give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You better believe me. So all I, all I had to do was talk to her one more time. Okay. I'm gonna go down here first. She can stay there.
I can't do anything right here, so... Maybe if I... I'm just gonna run. Okay, so I guess I do need her. I think I understand what I need to do now. I need to carry her back to that little platform. Oh, okay. Anyway, I need to take her back to the platform and do, um, bring her up. And I also never realized how annoying she actually is. So, how do I get her across here though? Ow. I think I can just throw her. Okay. Okay, come with me. Go over there. Oh, she can pop the bubbles. I guess that's karma. I'm gonna die. Ow. I tried to use her to block me, but that didn't work. I'm gonna drink this. There we go. Oops, I'm in the wrong room. Oops, I went to the wrong room again. That's... Ow. Stay away from me. This switch doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight alone. Okay, that worked. Can I shoot these? Oh, that worked. Honestly, when it comes to this dungeon, I don't remember anything, so I don't know what this could be. Oh, the boomerang already. See, I didn't know that. I thought it'd be a map or something. I don't even have the map, and I already got the boomerang. Whatever. can't go that way, I think. Actually, I'm gonna try. Maybe if I use the boomerang. That did not work. Okay. Stay away from me. Okay, I need her to stay right here. You stay there. switch my items. Okay. Oh, it's moving. This isn't really too difficult if it just stays up there. Do you have to stop targeting it? Oh, do I need to go closer? Oops.
There we go. Ew. So are the electric things parasites? I always thought it's just part of them or something. And now that I'm thinking about it, it'd make more sense if they're parasites. Oh, I got the map. How? Oh, oh, she's just insulting me. Okay. Oh, I can go in this room now. Yeah, I think they're like red worms or just worms. Oh, I have to get these in a timer. I wonder what would have happened if I didn't get in the timer. Would I get kicked out or something, or would it just make me start over? I don't know. This might be the compass. Yep, it's the compass. Oh, the boss room isn't too far. I want these things to stay away from- oh, I can't go that way. Maybe this way. Yep, I can go this way. And here's the blue thing. This isn't too hard, actually. Ew. I'm just gonna call them worms. They look like worms. That's it? Nothing. Okay. Guess I can go in the middle room now. Stay away from me. I don't know if I have to take her, but I'm just going to do that anyway. And there's a green one. Can I kill these? Okay, good. You know... I remember this being a lot harder. That's it. Okay, so now I just go this way. You stay away from me. I'm gonna leave her right here, actually. Finally get these. Okay, I can deal with these now. That's it, that's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there, onto the platform. She has a big head. But why, Princess Rudo? Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside. But now that I've found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. So take me home right now. Oh. What 
What is this, an octopus? You know, I could just leave her. I don't remember what I have to do. So I'm just gonna run. Oh, it's right there. Ew. Ow. So do I have to just do that? Oh my. Ow. Ouch. Why is it missing? Maybe if I go the other way. Will it turn around if I stand here? Oh yeah, it does that. So how am I supposed to catch up to that? There we go. And one more. Can I catch this? Thank you. And it's not dead. Will it turn around? Just gonna run after him. It's not over. Oh, okay. Good, that was annoying. Where did she go? Just gonna get this. I have no idea where she went. Where did that door with the blue button lead? Down there. Is that the boss? Oh. Then how do I get in here? Maybe one of these boxes will be enough. I almost ran over the edge. Okay, I hope this works, because if this doesn't work, I have no ideas. No idea, no ideas. It worked, okay. Wow, this room is giant.
I hear something. I don't know if it's Scotula or... Oh, gold. I'll take that. Oh, I almost fell. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it looks very cool. I don't know why there's glass inside his stomach. That missed. So is this boss on the map? It says it is. Okay. We are at the third boss dungeon. Third boss dungeon. Third dungeon boss. Whatever. I was about to say it's a marshmallow. It's not a stingray. Um, a jellyfish. I don't know words. So yeah. Bioelectric anemone. Baronade. Barony? I don't, I don't know, I didn't read it. This reminds me of Wind Waker, except, yeah, it reminds me of Wind Waker. Now what? Ow. Can I hit this? No, I'm, I'm dumb. I don't really know how to fight this. But I have two fairies, so whatever happens, I'll be fine. Ow. Unless I get cornered like that. Okay, how do I make this stop? Do I throw bombs? Am I missing something? Oops. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, what does Navi have to say? It is Baronade. Many parasitic jellyfish swarms around us. Aim for its body protected by jellyfish. That's not helpful. Am I supposed to run far away or something? I think so. Ouch. Oh, is it glitched? Okay, there you go. Could I have just done that from the beginning? It's not stopping. Oh. There we go. Ew. That's gross. Yeah, I don't know how I never realized it was a parasite the whole time. Oh, she just floated out of the ground. Okay. Thank you for the heart. Wow, she looks mad. You, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely. That's all. Just a little. She's a very likable character, as you can see. Oh.
that face makes me a little uncomfortable. You, you looked cool. Cooler than I thought you would, anyway. Just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want that spiritual stone. I know I should say that, but... <sighs> I'm gonna say nothing. Don't be shy. I can tell what you're thinking. Okay, so she just made an assumption. My mother gave it to me and said I should give it to only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora Engagement Ring. Alright, I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora Sapphire. You obtained Zora's Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession. You don't know what she's talking about, but you final, finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. Don't tell my father. Okay, so that's the third dungeon done. I want to get as many golden sculptures as I can. Oh wow, I did not expect that. So we also found the Great Fairy Fountain, and I was not expecting to find this. In fact, I completely forgot about the Great Fairies, so at least I found it. Oops, I messed that up. Welcome, Potato. I'm the Great Fairy of Magic. I thought we already met the Great Fairy of Magic. I'll give you a magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> you got Fervor's Wind. Use it once to create a warp point and use it again to return there. Remember, you can use Ferrora's Wind inside dungeons, okay? Yes, thanks. Here's another golden Skulltula. Did my most precious possession help you in your quest? Not yet. So I guess the one thing that's left that I'm gonna do is get the remaining golden sculptures that I know about. And yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh no, piece of heart. I honestly didn't think that would work. Oh, there's a golden sculpture right here. I think I can get this too. That didn't work. Nope, it's too far. Okay. Sure, just give me the beans.
90 rupees. Well, I'm poor now, so. There you are. Golden Skull Tula. I can see a golden sculpture back here. After rolling around for ages, I really wish I had a Pona because this is really annoying. The curse has been broken, thank you, here's a reward for you. Ooh, that's actually really helpful because I need more space. Okay, now that we completed the third dungeon, I'm gonna see if I can find the postman and give him the bunny hood. Wow, it's really dark outside. Anyway, I can't find the postman, so... Whatever, I'll do that later. Right now we're supposed to bring the three crystals back to the Temple of Time. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. R, I lost her. You over there, little kid. You must have seen this white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me. So you think you can protect them from me? You've got guts, kid. You want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. Well then. Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you're dealing with? 
I am Ganondorf, and soon I will rule the world. He just disappeared. Well, she threw the ocarina, so I need to go get that. You found the Ocarina of Time. This is the royal family's hidden treasure that Zelda left behind. It glows with mystical light. Potato, can you hear me? It's Zelda. Potato, when you hold this and ocarina in your hands, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you the ocarina and this melody. So does this ocarina got some sort of voicemail thing? You've learned the song of time. Now Potato, play this melody in front of the altar at the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Before I go to the Temple of Time, can I do the mask quest now? I see him. I see the mailman. You see those five pixels away off in the background? That's literally him. I really hope he's not faster than me. You sir, finally talk to me. He's not talking to me. Finally, now that it's nighttime, he finally stopped running. Talk to me. I bet with those long ears you could even hear the voices of the spirits. Oh, these are genuine rabbit ears from the animal of legend. I don't care how expensive it is, please sell it to me. My long time dream returning to the wildlife, finally the actor, stage, and prop have been united. It's a 50 rupee mask, but he paid you a crazy amount of money for it. More money than you can count. Does he fill my entire wallet? He filled my entire wallet, which means I can go back and get the remaining magic beans. And also, I'm really glad that I upgraded the wallet before this so then I can afford more stuff. So this is very, 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 very worth it. Go back to the mask shop and pay just 50 rupees of this money. Oh, uh-oh. Um, talk to me. I bet nobody's faster than I am now, but I don't know if I should be happy or sad. Okay, I'm gonna run. You, sir, give me all of the beans. Yes, I will take it. More. Yep, I'll take it. More? Oh, it's sold out. Well, I got all of the magic beans, so there's only two more spots to plant them in. Hello. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me 50 rupees. Oh yeah, very well done. All the masks are sold out. I knew I could trust you. As a reward, I'll lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It is a mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. 
With this mask, you can see into other people's minds. It's useful, but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and wiser in the way of the world. Ho ho ho. We finally got the Mask of Truth and this mask side quest is over. I don't have to run around all of Hyrule again. From now on, you can borrow any mask you want, just have faith. Let's look at the other masks. We've got the Gerudo mask, the Zora mask, and the Goron mask. I don't think they actually do anything, but they look cool. So, there's that. This is the Temple of Time. I could have visited this earlier, but I forgot, so we're going here now. It looks very majestic. There are three hollows and an inc inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones, stand with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. Got it. Where am I supposed to play? Right here? Okay. Potato, isn't that? Isn't that a legendary blade? Oh wait, I think she said it's that legendary blade. Oops, the master sword. So this is where I'm gonna leave it. This episode has gone on for quite a while and I spent a long, long time running back and forth over and over and over. So yeah, that was painful. But in the next episode, we will get the Legendary Blade or the Master Sword. And yeah, that's about it. I'll do that in the next episode. See you all then and goodbye.